talking smack, but I'm still smacking, cracking, and watching. We're back again with talking smack. I believe this is number four. Monique. Monique, our favorite comedian from the Queens of Comedy, the Parkers, all these wonderful shows she's been a part of. She even had a late night show. Homegirl got an Oscar. Well, she's beefing right now with the world. She said, hey, y'all, join me and boycott Netflix. And I don't know what kind of stuff she's been smoking because I refuse to boycott Netflix. I like Netflix. Netflix keeps everyone in my house calm, quiet, and in their own little device. You know why? Husband, he can be on his phone. Little one can be on a tablet. I can have Sesame Street or some baby type show going to keep the baby occupied and I can do what I want to do. Netflix can be four, five, six different family members in different states or even another country, whatever. Y'all all can have that same little family account. Everybody's stuff is there. My point is, I'm not giving up my Netflix for Monique. It ain't gonna happen. She wants the equal pay of her fellow comedians that have specials, but she ain't really popped nothing recently. She wants Dave Chappelle coins, Amy Schumer. First of all, do you guys realize Amy Schumer's problem with Netflix? Amy Schumer dropped a special a couple years ago, right? Amy Schumer's special was boo-boo. It was horrible. She's the whole reason why there's a thumbs up and a thumbs down now. Remember, it used to be a scale of like, one to five you could rate stuff exactly y'all don't want to talk about that though right but she wants to compare herself to amy quit playing what are you doing they won't give up the coins monique sister girl do the lebron release it yourself take your talents to miami but miami's heat version hulu amazon anywhere you don't have to just say netflix you just went for the big dog i don't know if this is her publicity stunt every year or year and a half for her to just go off on the world so everybody's saying monique's name once again i'm not sure i like monique i think monique hella funny I think her issues popped off the night of the Oscars when she went out there with the furry legs. I think that sparked all the controversy and then people were hating on her for the role that she won off of, Precious. Well, she, I mean, she did a dang on good job of a mean chick with, with the cigarette. I think I think Jamie Foxx has the best uh, Precious Monique impression. Impersonation, I think he's hilarious when he does it. <laughs> Look at you. Monique, get it together. I don't know if anyone's gonna be with you in this boycott situation moving forward. Monique, Dave Chappelle is an icon. He is not just a comedian. He's not just a black comedian. He is Dave Chappelle. He's, an, he's on a whole different platform and he can pull the deals that he can pull. I'm not dissing her. I'm not hating on her. Like I said, I got nothing but love for homegirl. I think she's gotta get back to the foundation and come back to reality real talk moving ahead i can't even have a good salad romaine lettuce y'all we have an e coli the multi-state e coli breakout and i hate this because what's going on what is the real reason behind it e coli i mean growing up i remember that restaurant called chi chi's y'all remember chi chi's you remember Chi Chi's? It used to be, they used to have sauce in the store and hard shell tacos. Anyway, they always had a whole, a freaking E. coli breakout. And then there was that buffet, um, not Ryan's, cause they're closed. It was a, it might be Sizzlers or Golden Corral, but they always had some stuff too that was taking people out. Typically little kids were dying. E. coli is some serious business. Now, let me read y'all what's, let me read to y'all what's going on. January 10th, 2018, the Public Health Agency of Canada reported an outbreak of shaker toxin producing E. coli infections. They had identified was linked to romaine lettuce. Um, the United States CDC, several states, and the USDA continues to investigate this outbreak. Uh, they're saying 15 states. Seven illnesses have been added to this invest investigation. I'm talking about it's coming from leafy greens, leafy greens, and they're contaminated leafy greens and the outbreak, or the the contaminated leafy greens linked to this outbreak are no longer for sale. I told you it wasn't my potato salad. Stupid. <laughs> okay, so look, California, Connecticut, Illinois. Indiana, Maryland, Michigan, Nebraska, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Vermont, <sighs> Virginia, Washington. Yeah. From November, take look, November 15th through December. Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. You thinking I was eating potato. I knew I shouldn't have ate her potato salad. If anybody putting romaine lettuce in that potato salad, 
They need to be slapped. And then, oh, and man. they plated it underneath. Yeah, oh man. Look. <laughs> Let's think about where these greens are coming from. Somebody's field somewhere. And I don't know about y'all, but if I think of a field, I don't necessarily think of toilets. I don't think of restrooms nearby. And if it's coming from where I think it's coming from, then the standards of how they're treating their workers are probably piss poor. And when I say piss poor, that makes me think that people go a little beloved route like how Oprah did. You know what I mean? When Oprah just squatted and let it out. Let's not act like people who have those jobs. And they, let's just, did, 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 did someone pee in the crops? Did someone drop a load in the crops? I'm just saying. Yeah. A pipe burst. Mm -hmm. All kind of stuff. Sneezing. I don't know what's going on in these factories. Rats. And in, in, during the transport, you know, big uh, factories have all kind of stuff that can. Look for it. Hold what? Oh, you want to tell the people? Come here. Come tell the people. Stand right here. My shorty is going to tell y'all what, what she thinks. Go ahead. Um, some people, when the factories go, some rats get in the packaging and some people don't actually know when they it's in a store. Mm -hmm. And you look at the packaging and you're like, what? I see something. And that's what some people, it sometimes happens probably. So they need to be inspecting their own stuff, checking dates, making sure things are correct, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all heard it from her. Thank you. Chain of custody. Chain of custody. People are actually drinking and eating, puncturing the dang on Tide Pods for your laundry. They're eating and drinking it. What part of the game is this? Who does this? More adults have died than children. My husband said more adults have, have passed away than children. It's idiotic stuff. I know you can't even say it's childish. First of all, what's the price on that? That's expensive. Laundry detergent is high and y'all got time to waste it. So these are some dumb wasteful adults at this point. Like, what are you doing? Why would you do this? First of all, I don't use the pods. And the one time I did, it like melts all over your hands. So somebody's just doing too much. I think it's, it's, it's dangerous because they're making all these videos on YouTube, making kids you know, try to get interested by it, but it's really the grown-ups who are the idiots to do it. What would you do if your kid went in the laundry room and they just start playing? What get, get out of the laundry room. What are you doing? Get out of what you can do is fold those clothes. You're not gonna be playing around with my expensive soap. Just dumb, just dumb stuff going on in the world. Like get it together, world. Straight up. You know what? <laughs> Y'all done heard everything has to be said about H&M. Here's the thing. It's a Swedish company. And now they're talking about, oh, we're going to hire our diversity manager. Everybody's mad at the mom immediately. I'm just saying, who's the management? Is his mother the manager? Who's the management company that's representing them? It has to go through somewhere, you would think. But my thing is, Ikea is Swedish. Ikea ain't never did no racist stuff to me. And I love Mrs. Ikea. So I never shop at H&M really anyways. I don't, I mean, hey. So the little boy's mom went to Twitter and she said, hey y'all, listen, this is my son. I don't see a problem with his hoodie and I'm not thinking about y'all. You know what? That's their culture. That's how they want to receive it. We can't make her parent her child the way that we want it. We see it different. Would my kid wear it? Hell to the no. This weather is crazy. Some places are you typically hot. Well, it's cold. It was 10 degrees the other day. Be safe, bundle up, drive how you should be driving according to the weather conditions. Bundle bundle y'all kids up. Don't nobody want to see your kid going to school with shorts and a t-shirt and it's 2 degrees. Get a hat and a scarf on them babies. Check your tires, make sure your tires is right. You got an oil change, make sure your windshield wipers are right too. Tie your shoes, you don't want to be slipping on ice or whatever's going on. Just be safe, alright? So the world is kind of losing their marbles because Kim and Kanye have another baby, and they named the baby Chicago West. Everybody was trying to figure out this baby's name. What's the baby's name? What's the baby's name? They're saying the baby's name is Chicago West. It sounds like a TV show. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about no baby's name, but Chicago West, you that loyal to your city that you would name your baby Chicago West. Huh. Congratulations. And Seal, not that one. Yep, Seal, the singer, Fly Like an Eagle. They mad at Seal because he, they saying he went off on Oprah. First of all, that's the one person you don't talk about. 
<sighs> he got caught up. He did low key say some slick stuff, but you know the world caught it and he tried to clean it up. But the real MVP award for him goes to telling off Stacy Dash and Stacy Dash. Keep my name out your mouth. Do not retweet, requote order to reinforce your self-hating agenda you live in a sunken place he read her for filth the government shut down how can you shut down what belongs to the people no one ever talks about why it gets shut down we don't have a budget we're spending more money than we got so if they're not essential why do we have them because what reason there's a way to save money right there here's the thing they use that as a weapon to negotiate stuff Happy belated birthday to Mary J. Blige. She also received a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. Congrats to her. You know what? I didn't realize, like, they, like, pay for the star and you just have to have, like, a certain number of people, like, pull, pull together and say, hey, she deserves a star. It is that simple. I thought it was, like, a time situation, but they will, um, I think they can snatch it back. Can't they snatch it back? Do they refund you your money? I don't think they refund you your money. They don't got that Walmart policy, but they will Bill Cosby your star. Um, I like Mary J. I think she's a phenomenal singer. I think she's a great actress. And I was rooting for her when she did that Burger King commercial, crispy chicken, fresh lettuce. Yeah, I liked it. But, you know, people were hating on her like, <gasps> How could she do this to the black community? Let me tell you something, black community. Were y'all paying her millions of Burger King McNugget dollar Whopper money? No. No, you weren't. That girl knew she had a divorce coming in the future. She needed to secure the bag, and that's what she did, and I'm happy for her. Um, you know what else was crazy? She said on a Breakfast Club interview that she was homeless in 2016. How? How? It was kind of, That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. You know, I mean, but the stars go through the same issues that other people day to day that we know and we can experience. Anyway, everyone, I think we're going to wrap it up right there with talking smack. Talking smack. But I'm still smacking, cracking, and watching. Until the next time, please subscribe.